G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, bone fishing Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden. Oh dear. Come up and took it probably. Yeah, well, isn't that funny? That's that's a lot of cast at that fish. Daryl had a go at him. I'm only getting Daryl scraps at the moment. And uh, he wouldn't take it, saw it a few times and then thought, yep, he'll have a go. And uh, I just helped him out by just pulling the hook out straight off. In line. Yeah, that's good. Well, it is. It really helps to be able to see the fish, and then because they will move like literally meters, so you've got to be able to watch that fish to, to put that fly in front of it, and it certainly helps. Just another beautiful Matara brown, fantastic. Again, <laughs> oh. you gotta love the Matera. Gotta love the Matera. Just a wonderful fishery. Plenty of great fish. Only a little. One. Oh, and he just got off. But uh, that was fantastic. Could go up there and help him, but he just decided to uh, let that one go as well. Did that break or uh, come off? Break? Did that break? Oh, hey. We'll, we'll hang on to one. Hey? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so he's come up and, and smelt it. You sure you didn't spray it with more team? More team, just to. Don't make it too easy for you. Yeah. Very venison. Yep. Oh, that was. Well, he took it. That's all right, he took it. He took it. Yeah. Yep, got him. That deserved a fish. Now this one, once they've taken it like that, like I haven't pricked him. No. Sometimes I'll come back for a second look, but generally speaking, you know. That's it. You've got to move on. Got a leaf this is just a fabulous run. I mean, the whole river is outstanding, isn't it? You know, like from, it's, and it's so different from where we were, you know, like 10 minutes ago, it's completely different to this as well. Yeah. And surprising, the, the number of fish, the hatches, the clarity of the water, the access, I mean, the, the Matara's it's got to be one of the best rivers in the world. It's got that reputation. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, yep, there he goes. Right on the dot, yep. Good cast. Have you got bread? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that was pretty interesting. That's, uh, I was only a metre or so ahead, that was a pretty good cast and he... I hate to say, but I think that was the fisherman's fault. <laughs> really? <laughs> I think you held on to it, Gav. No, no, no. <laughs> but, uh... We went for a little lunge and I think we fresh on him. Anyhow, yeah. perfect cast. Yeah. Good cast. Well, that was good. Good take. Fly just started to drag too. Yeah, yeah, okay, yep. Still come up and took it. And that, that is, like, one of the benefits, as you say, by casting closer, 
that it doesn't uh, doesn't give it that opportunity to drag. It's uh, and they see it right in front of their nose, and but normally you're meant to hang on to them for a little bit longer than that, isn't it? You know, so. Yeah, well. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, well, that's a couple of fish, a couple of takes already. Um, yeah, we'll stay connected in a, in a second, I'm sure. Hopefully. I've just spotted one just up a bit from that, or about there. That was about where he was. Well, that was different to the rock that I was looking at, so. Uh, that was good that he helps us out. And we've just missed the last couple, so it was good. Daryl spotted that one just in this little ripple, which is a terrific spot for a fish to feed, Daryl, isn't it? There'd be a lot of tucker brought down and, yep. and hatches. Place to find them. Yeah. That was good on the Adams parachute, straight up. Loved it. And they've probably got less where there's a bit more movement in the water. Quicker decision making. Without a doubt. You can hide those bad cars a little bit. Uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you've just heard that some anglers do. Yeah, sure, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, true, it's a great place to start. So if people are out there beginning on, on a flat, calm pool, it's very difficult to catch fish. But you get in somewhere like that and you do muck up a cast, the fish are aggressive, they'll help you out a bit. It's a good couple of pound. Perfect. A good fat, solid little fish, they really aren't they? They uh, just shows just in what sort of quality that the uh, the water's like here. That's a phenomenal fish. The amount of fish that size, the amount of tucker. Yeah. Have they done counts? What they do here is they, uh, so I'll just get him out, just give him a good look. Just incredible, just yeah. great nick, Little just a, yeah, girth, yeah. Plenty of power. Back the other way, you'll work out where he's going. But that's what they do, um, uh, like drift dives to count the the number of fish and things like that. Have they done that in the... Yeah. I haven't heard what the sisters are in the Matara for a while, but no. I know on the lower reaches it was getting up around 180 to 200 fish per K. Okay, yep, yep, yeah. yeah. And they literally, that's, yeah. That's a, that's, a, that's a self sustaining wild fishery. Yeah. Like there's no uh, red fish, no hatchery fish put into that, so you see, it's a pretty phenomenal fishery. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And when we refer to a drift dive, that's a, you get grown men in their, uh, their wetsuits, goggles, and snorkels. And literally, there's a few of them, they float down a river as a team and just count the fish. Yeah, they've got a counter in their hands. Yeah. And they just flick it like a sheep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just uh, float down the river, I don't know how far apart. Yep. And, um, not too far, and they just count all the fish yeah. between them. Yeah, yeah. across the river. Okay. Amazing, yeah. Well done. That's oh. What? Hang the ear. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Angler era.